Dragon SpaceX, all hooks open and nominal. All hooks open. Dragon departing. Dragon SpaceX, separation confirmed. Separation. Three burns, physical separation, 4.35 p.m. Pacific. Thrusters looking good, counting down to a nominal departure burn zero coming up shortly. Dragon SpaceX, depart burn zero complete. Copy complete, our advisor's up. And you heard depart burn zero complete, that 12 second firing moving Dragon slightly faster away from the International Space Station using those service section Dracos. And with that, Bob and Doug have concluded their stay aboard the International Space Station. They're on their way back to planet Earth. Confirms a physical separation at 4.35 p.m. Pacific as the station and Dragon were flying 267 statue miles over Johannesburg, South Africa. Two good undocking burns and a nominal departure burn zero. Next departure burn coming up in about five minutes. We'll be monitoring crew Dragon throughout the departure sequence, but with Dragon flying free, that'll do it from us here in Mission Control Houston. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. To take you through the rest of the departure sequence, we'll send you back over to Hawthorne. Thanks, Gary. Departure burn zero sets crew Dragon Endeavor and Bob and Doug on their journey home. Dragon ship Endeavor is now on a trajectory to head up and over the station before additional maneuvers will change its orbital path to take it below and in front of the station. Dragon will autonomously accomplish that through three additional departure burns with that next one coming up in just a couple of minutes to get Bob Hurley, Bob Vankin and Doug Hurley well away from the space station and on their way home. Beautiful view, uh, just had a beautiful view there of the relative navigation center, sensors uh, providing an infrared view of the International Space Station as Bob and Doug drift away from it. And uh, of course, as they are drifting away, going into that slightly higher orbit, uh, just because of balancing the force of gravity along with their centripetal acceleration, they will move a little bit slower than the space station. And so we'll expect Space Station to sort of drift ahead, and then as they conduct those additional burns, getting out of the approach of ellipsoid uh, and the keep-out sphere, then uh, they will come back down below station, Space Station, with their apogee being about 10 kilometers below Space Station and, and slowly reducing their perigee. Next up in just a couple of minutes, uh, scheduled for 4.40 p.m. Or Pacific time and 11.40 p.m. GMT will be depart burn one. That's a 20-second burn to further increase the opening rate between Crew Dragon and the International Space Station. Yeah, and, uh, that view, the what we just previously had, and you can actually see it on the, the right-hand screen of, uh, of Bob's display, is a relative navigation sensor that's providing an, an infrared view from the forward hatch of Dragon, uh, looking back towards the, the forward uh, module of the International Space Station. So that's where Dragon has been for the last 63 days. Uh, coming up in less than a minute is departure burn number one. This burn coming just about five minutes after separation. And uh, this is going to increase that opening rate between the space station and Dragon. And separation occurred on time today, as with everything else occurring on schedule, sending Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley back toward Earth, back toward home. So very, very exciting moment. Um, we should expect to hear a call out here for departure burn number one. Uh, departure burn number one is pretty short. It only lasts about 21 seconds, but uh, it's the burn that's going to get us on our way up, out, and away um, through the keep-out sphere and uh, through the approach ellipsoid. Again, the keep-out sphere 
um, about 200 meter sphere around the International Space Station and the approach ellipsoid, uh, four by four by two kilometer ellipse. Uh, if you imagine two central parks in New York City next to each other, uh, that's about how big that is. Just uh, guidance references for visiting vehicles. And we're seconds away now from departure burn one. These are autonomous burns. Uh, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley are not pushing any buttons to make this happen. Uh, these are programmed into Dragon, and uh, we will be looking for that in just a few seconds from now. That's a view from the space station. Those two lights, um, the, the green light is the view that on the right-hand side of the Dragon vehicle. Uh, that would be the side that Bob Benkin was sitting on, and the red light, the side that Doug Hurley was sitting on. Uh, it's actually made pretty, pretty quick work getting away from the station. I'm going to look up some data, see if I can get the actual distance to station right now. And departure burn one has begun, that 20-second burn. This will also take it outside of the keep out sphere and outside of the approach ellipsoid and after complete. Dragon SpaceX, depart burn one complete. Nominal burn, you are go to doff your suits per procedure, four decimal zero one two. Reminder that the ground will be deactivating the big loop following exit from the approach ellipsoid, which is approximately 12 to 14 minutes from now. Okay. Endeavor on the big loop. Go ahead, Endeavor. Chris, we just uh, can't thank you enough. It's been an honor and a privilege to be part of Expedition 63 with you, Anatoly, and Avon. It's been a great two months, and we appreciate uh, all you've done as a crew to help us uh, prove out Dragon on its uh, maiden flight. I'd also like to thank uh, Zeb and his team in Mission Control in Houston for the incredible amount of work they did to uh, make the dock the ops successful for Dragon, and also the teams at SpaceX that uh, keep us going towards the end of our mission that we look forward to splash down tomorrow. I'd also like to wish you a, a great success on the rest of your expedition and a safe flight home in the fall. Take care, friend. Endeavor, Thank stay you, Chris. Stay. Stay. Thank you, Anatoly. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Houston, and thank you, SpaceX. Endeavor Station, uh, Bob and Doug, uh, wholeheartedly agree with those, those sentiments. Uh, it's been a real pleasure. It's been an honor to serve with you. Safe travels and have a successful landing. Endeavor is a great ship. Godspeed. Never copies all. Thanks, Chris. And we just heard some kind words exchanged between Crew Dragon Endeavor with Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley now on their way home. ISS and Dragon on the big loop. Endeavor has exited the keep out sphere. See you guys when you're back home. Benkin and Hurley leaving behind three people aboard the International Space Station that will return this October. That's Station Commander Chris Cassidy, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Yvonne Wagner of Roscosmos. So you just heard they exited the keep-out sphere. That's an imaginary sphere, 200 meters in diameter, uh, and that is around the space station. So it's one of the several safety zones.